Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to look at crime in Seattle um, and essentially looking at where is safe and where is not safe. So I broke this down into a number of different graphs <clears throat> and studies um, basically throughout the whole entire city. You can see um, I mapped this out, um, looked at different neighborhoods um, and sections and streets um, and just basically tried to cover everything about Seattle. Um, and some of the surrounding areas as well, you can see um, safety there. Um, and then particularly looked at some detailed studies on streets um, right near the city center. Um, here you can see that. And then just, this is the overall map uh, for the city that's published by the police department. Um, and then some more um, uh, data from the police department directly. And then here's some shooting maps um, just to see um, where that is. Um, and as well as car theft, which I wanted to look at particularly carefully because I'm gonna be parking, um, maybe spending overnight uh, visiting uh, downtown. So personally, what I definitely recommend is grabbing uh, this website from the Seattle Police Department data maps. Um, and you can look for uh, Seattle Police Calls for Service. Um, and it basically gives you um, the most comprehensive um, last 24 hours look um, at what the data is. Um, some of the other data is actually uh, year round. And actually, I'd prefer getting some of that uh, heat map uh, from the police department directly to see what it looks like. Um, but they just don't publish it. They only publish it for last 24 hours or even uh, seven days. So you pretty much have to go to some other sources to try to see um, and kind of balance out um, all the data um, to try to get an idea um, for what is safe and what isn't safe on some of these maps. And you may want to look um, further north or further south on some of these looking at uh, Olympia or Tacoma as well. But if you go to the main uh, city website, seattle.gov, police uh, information and data, online crime maps, uh, you'll get this here. They also got the crime dashboard, an arrest dashboard, which looks pretty interesting as well. Um, and you just click view data maps uh, to get that main map. I also use some AI to kind of tell me um, what neighborhoods are most unsafe. Um, and I'll kind of go through that really quickly here. Um, there's <clears throat> AI kind of recommended uh, some of these as being very unsafe. Um, <coughs> And I'm not sure if I totally agree with the AI on some of these, um, but you can kind of check it out uh, to see for yourself. Um, and I'll just go through these neighborhoods um, really quickly here because it's actually not even that helpful. But one thing I liked about this map, crimegrade.org, um, is that basically they have a national map. So you can look at all the cities around the United States, which is very helpful. And they actually separate it. Um, by different types so if you click this here they got violent crime and you may actually want to look at that um, particularly overall crime um, sometimes it gets a little bit um, confusing um, a police call is different uh, than an actual violent crime uh, but here is the violent crime map I'll just load that up really quick um, and show you that it looks slightly different actually so that's important um, uh, one interesting thing is that the AI actually recommended that the university district is not super safe. And you can see the violent crime map actually um, settles down quite a bit. Uh, and it pretty much heads down to the south side of Seattle um, and basically uh, along this peninsula and right in here uh, being as the worst parts um, as well as right in here as well. That looks pretty interesting. Um, and actually Bellevue being uh, having quite a high uh, violent crime rate as well. So I'll just show you a slight difference here on these two maps. Uh, this is overall crime and this is violent crime. So uh, basically the, the actual neighborhoods are slightly different. I'm just going to circle these here uh, so you can kind of see uh, where the most violent crimes are. Um, there's actually kind of like a little sliver pocket up here north um, as well as kind of a differentiation between uh, those sides there and then maybe even... Uh, a separate pocket here and then a pocket in here. Uh, but in terms of safe zones, I like to circle those too, um, just because uh, it's important to see um, exactly what is safe and what maybe isn't as safe. Um, but uh, I've been hearing some bad things just basically about this loop in here too. Um, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be totally surprised uh, if this last area of Madison Park uh, has uh, some problems as well. 
So just a quick little comparison. This is the violent crime map, and this is the overall crime map. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't do the blocking of the ads on the other one, so I kind of had to snip it a little bit. Um, but it's pretty similar, actually, overall. Uh, you can see University District also is pretty bad. Uh, it's actually probably better just to use the overall crime map, um, but it's just interesting to see um, the difference here. I really wish that the city police department would make this map a lot bigger. I had to kind of blow it up to show you um, the details here. But basically the downtown area, so there's basically this uh, river that runs through here. Um, let me see if I can draw that. So this has a lock and this is uh, Lake Union and it basically goes right through there. And that's basically this dividing sign between North Seattle and South Seattle. And in general, South Seattle is more dangerous uh, than North Seattle. But actually, I would say there's definitely some areas on the north side um, that you gotta watch out for. So I just put this on the map. I'm gonna publish this on my Facebook account um, if you want the actual maps. So really, uh, when you arrive in downtown Seattle, you'll definitely notice a lot of homelessness and uh, other problems uh, you know, just right on the street, um, particularly right in this region here. Um, it's near the port of Seattle and you can take ferries and other things and you'll see, um, it's actually called the International District um, in here, um, right, is the, pretty much the bad area. Um, so, uh, and you can see there's certain streets um, that basically you can see Madison kind of comes out through here um, and then Rainier is basically pretty bad here. And then there's kind of like three or four main avenues um, you can see 6th Avenue, 11th Avenue, and so on. Um, those kind of being pretty bad as well. And then there's kind of um, this right along the West Lake, there's kind of a spot that comes across here with the bridge. And you can see that um, on the map here pretty clearly. Um, I moved this uh, to the north side a little bit so you can see. Um, and you can't really see the south side, unfortunately. But it's hard to get all of it on one map. Unfortunately, the police department doesn't make very big maps. So you have to zoom in and I kind of... Uh, edited these so you can see uh, this street right here uh, basically is one of the major problems right um, now in Seattle um, and then as soon as you cross onto the other side um, there's kind of like a little area um, right along the street I think it's 46th or 45th um, and you can see um, uh, it just runs right through here across <laughs> I was also really surprised to see uh, 85th Street and some other farther north areas um, being pretty bad. So you kind of want to be cautious um, near some of these uh, spots. And it looks like the police department pretty much does it on certain intersections. So it could be like one or two blocks over from one of these intersections. Like here, it looks like police department said this is where they spotted the problem. Um, but that might be where the call was. But the actual problem might be uh, within a few blocks of that region, for instance. And again, the AI is actually saying the University District is not as safe as a lot of people say, particularly on the north side. You can see um, here, uh, right, it's just northwest corner of the university it looks pretty bad. Now, on the south side, it's actually worse um, in general, and I think it's primarily because of the loading docks um, and this region right here off of I-5. Um, and you'll see uh, some homeless encampments uh, kind of running along here. And just try to be nice to people, um, no matter who they are, um, but just be cautious um, in general. But this Rainier Avenue looks a really serious problem in general, so I would not, um, I would be very careful about parking in these regions as well. And you saw the parking map. Um, you can see um, this is part of that Rainier area, and you can see uh, it does extend into the south. But actually, Queen Anne has been having a lot of park, uh, you know, vehicle thefts, as well as Capitol Hill, and then up into here. So um, really, the only safe spot is basically out here in the southwest side, which incidentally, the south side is worse. Um, so a lot of that is kind of coming off from this uh, peninsula here on, on the south side uh, coming in. So, and you'll see that in the shootings map. I think you can kind of see how some of that uh, is moving over to that west side. Um, and then this actually looks safer. Uh, but so you kind of got to combine uh, the car theft map. And this is the change in motor vehicle theft. So you can see uh, certain neighborhoods are getting worse on you know, over the course of the year um, compared to last year. So, and you can see um, this was 2022 and this is 2021. Sorry, I 
overrode that. Um, but you see certain areas, you can kind of see how it kind of um, goes through Capitol Hill and then up into the University District and even on the north side and switches to the west side uh, for shooting there. Um, and then this is the spot um, that I'd really be careful of down on Rainier Avenue, um, kind of heading across the river there. And that spot is basically down in here, South Beacon Hill, um, Holly Park in that area. Um, it looks like it has some troubles. Now the downtown map is actually very sophisticated. If you look at it carefully, um, you can probably find some safe spots um, pretty close to downtown. Um, basically Queen Anne Hill is pretty safe, but the car thefts is going up. And I think a lot of that um, is happening uh, right along the West Lake side and then the South, South part of the hill um here is actually um along mercer is actually um kind of getting to be a little bit unsafe so um but in general um these areas uh, should be safer now let me show you the main map again so this is going directly back to the police department's website the only thing i don't like about this is it only shows the last seven days um it could be great um, to see the last seven days, but honestly, I'd like to see the last month or even year and just see a heat graph um, because I'm really interested in what happens over a period of a year. So here, um, you know, as you zoom in, you can see kind of the problem. It's a pretty big map, but there's whole, there's this, you should be able to remove these side panels here and just look at just the map um, if you want, but they haven't corrected that yet. So, um, but in general, you can see some of these main areas here so even if you're considering um, this area right here, University District, um, definitely right over here, it looks like it's a very serious problem. Um, and there's all kind of a lock uh, right in here where you can, uh, boats can travel through here. Um, and I would say, uh, you know, some of these other areas that don't really show up um, along uh, the waterfront, you may have to be careful about. Um, but in general, um, the downtown area is the most serious area. So essentially what I wanted to show you is that um, you can start from the downtown um, and then kind of pick uh, each one of these pathways and kind of see um, how the crime uh, kind of uh, evolves or moves from downtown uh, to whatever neighborhood you're thinking of parking in. Um, so here um, you can kind of see that. Um, it's hard to see on the south side because it just goes so far down, so far south. Um, how serious the problem is. And there's actually kind of a new area right in here, it looks like, um, kind of uh, as you cross this bridge um, off uh, Route 509, um, that kind of becomes a problem. So this area here, um, I would be watch out for in particular. Uh, and then actually, um, it looks like there is some new crime right in that region, uh, but uh, it's just hard to say. Um, and then on the north side, I'll just zoom in here so you can see the map um, if you needed to see it. And there's certain, definitely, uh, this Bot Hell Way um, looks like it's uh, getting pretty bad right in here, um, at least in the last week or so. Um, so a heat map would be great to see, um, and that's why um, this other map uh, was pretty good. Let me show you that one, this one, yeah. So it just shows, um, different things here uh, my ad blocker is not quite working uh, here on this so sorry about that um, let me cancel this uh, but in general you can kind of see uh, in detail uh, what's going on and there's some of that some of that shows up here you can see this little red neighborhood right in there um, on this so I hope you've enjoyed the study of Seattle's crime. Um, definitely uh, take a look at all these maps. I'm gonna post all the links so you don't actually need to have the same maps that I have right here uh, with all the circles on it, but you can uh, look at them yourself on the police department's webpage or like this um, and get the up-to-date uh, crime map um, for yourself and kind of see where you think is safe to park and where you think is safe to hang out in Seattle. Um, and I would say in general, um, yeah, downtown is getting pretty bad and there's certain streets in here. When you're, uh, you know, like Pike Place Market is pretty safe, it's over here on this side. Uh, but as you get further to downtown, um, certain streets, it's usually block by block. So if you're, if you're at least two or three blocks over from where these main problems are, um, I would say maybe even five blocks. Uh, in some areas, uh, you may be a little bit safer, but I don't know about parking because you got to realize you can walk a few blocks pretty quickly and all of a sudden be in a pretty different neighborhood.
So again, I'll just do one last view of all these maps. Here is kind of a little bit of a zoomed out map of downtown. You can kind of see uh, some of that areas that we were talking about. Here's kind of the mix of the north side and the south side with the waterfront um, right here and the West Lake area. Um, and you can see uh, here's kind of the south side areas uh, for you to see um, as well as the whole overall map. Um, and this one, I'll also post a link to it as well so you can have national uh, view. And then kind of a street by street view. You may need to zoom in quite detailed um, to see where that is. This kind of looks like a mess, but it's pretty interesting to see. It would be nice, to, it's kind of an approximation of a heat map, um, which the police department kind of shows here, but they do it by neighborhood. So this is like Queen Anne Hill, Capitol Hill, and some other neighborhoods. Um, <clears throat> and this actually doesn't look as safe on the north side. So really, <clears throat> it is a kind of a debate, um, but when you look at the shootings and other problems, South Side looks a little bit more dangerous. Hope you enjoyed this study. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions about what's going on. I'd be glad to talk with you about it. Hope you stay safe and have fun in Seattle. Thanks a lot.